Hey guys, Vikram Prolkar from the Test Suite Specialist team here. And in today's session, we're going to be talking about database testing. Database testing, of course, starts with data ingestion. UiPath specifically has a database activity pack that allows the user to connect to any database and perform an entire palette of different actions, such as executing transactions, queries, non-queries, aggregating that data, transforming it through different logic layers or leveraging AI models, and of course, reporting it or verifying reports in various analytics tools via the UI or API. Now the automation potential for database testing is huge. At the very basic level during preparation phases, you can do things like metadata checks and formatting validation. If you're using database testing for the purposes of data reconciliation or transformation, you can of course do various unit tests or field tests, do row by row comparisons, or even once the data has been transformed to its end location, you can do verification, visual checks, graphical data checks, or just overall data monitoring by checking data distributions over time. Now the database activity pack is composed of six key activities. These involve connecting and disconnecting to the environment or database and executing queries or non-queries. Of course, you can transform data with inserts or start transactions as well. When choosing a data source, you can select to Microsoft SQL Server, Access Database, or if using a non-Microsoft database, we support ODBC data source connections as well. Now the manual testing approach required um, checking over 6,500 tables and performing over 40,000 SQL queries. And each of these queries had to be executed at least three times. This simply is not sustainable if doing it manually. However, UiPath's automated solution allows you to actually define a single automation for one or two queries, and then run it as many times as you need across as many SQL data tables using variables and data-driven testing. And so what that ends up looking like is for something like table structure validation, you're able to take um, a manual test where I might have to perform the same query over and over again, simply changing the table value and perform an automated test where we might have a master table data set and be able to feed that table name as a variable into our SQL query. Now let's take a look at Studio. The first prerequisite is to install the UiPath.database activities package. This can be found in Package Manager. If I navigate to the activities pane and search for database, we'll see all of the different activities that we'll want to use. I have a pretty simple workflow here where I'm going to first connect to a database and then execute a specific SQL query. When connecting to a database, we can click configure connection to open up a connection wizard. Here I can choose from a number of different data sources. In this demo, I'm going to connect to an access database file. I'll be able to provide the database file name and test my connection you'll see test connection has succeeded. If I wanted to use some other connection source, I could easily select that and pass in either Windows credentials or SQL Server specific credentials. For the query, I can pass in my same configuration connection and edit the query accordingly. I can dynamically pass in different parameters and simply define my SQL query as if I were executing it manually. If I go over to the properties pane, I will be able to also pass in different command types such as stored procedures or table direct commands. Now this workflow is actually a reusable component. I've invoked it inside of my test case. I've also then added a series of different verification activities available in our testing activity package. Here I'm simply verifying each record against an expected result. Now where do those expected values come from? Those come from our second data source, in this case, an Excel file. I have an Excel file available in my project folder, and I'm able to simply right-click my test case and add that test data here. 
I would select the source to be an Excel file, select the test data, and I'm able to import each of these arguments into my workflow. After building out this workflow, I would test it a couple times by executing it from Test Explorer. We see that I've already done this and we see the test execution results is passed. I can then link this automation over to Test Manager and publish it over to Orchestrator. Upon runtime, a tester will be able to navigate over to UiPath Test Manager, create a test set. I have one already created here. Assign the relevant test cases and go ahead and execute them in an automated fashion. Since this is a data-driven test with three data variations, we'll see all three appear here. One by one, my robot's gonna pop up and complete each of the executions. And we'll see the results here. If I wanna dive into the details, I can open up each data variation see the status and see each of the assertions. Each of the assertion names and messages are customizable as well. If I wanna see the specific data that was passed in, I can view the execution details and see those input arguments, as well as execution and robot details. And that's it. Thanks for joining me to learn a bit more about database testing. Till next time, bye.